Yeah, hooray, hello again. Since part one, there has been a sizable update to the game. A Halloween update. A lot more stuff has been added. So, I'm um, not sure if we'll beat the game in part two. Because I'll uh, be distracted by the new stuff. Because I, I don't know how long going through the new stuff will take. But we're going to... Oh, wait. Well, there's one of the new stuff right here. Cerberus's Den. Whoa. Uh, what say you? But then I heard that it's actually kind of like an infinite void. Literal nothingness. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think it's pretty implausible myself, but who the heck knows? An enthralling hypothesis. By all accounts, although I also perceive it to be dubious, we're not dealing with science fiction. This is just the afterlife. I imagine it's something rather mundane. I've heard it suggested it might be heterochromia. Hmm. Tell me more. No, that'd be hella sweet. Would make fate look very stylish. <laughs> Fits the whole sui generis vibe. One thing's for certain, the glasses are not there because of his eyesight. Doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> you certainly, Sherry. How strange it would be. An eternal omnipotent force with poor vision. And a cat. Quite a twist of fate. Uh, really? Uh, Agreed. Uh. I'll have to search through some of our primordial sources. I'll get back to you if I happen to find anything. For now, seems you have a fresh patron to attend to. Yo. Right. Hey there. <laughs> what the new glitch I've heard about? I'm Sari. Welcome to the Cerberus Den. Finally decided to come around, eh? Mm, yeah. Felt like, you know, this is the right time. Isn't every weekend the right time for a visit? I guess. In any case, what can I get you? Hmm. I keep hearing voices. That's so. Well, most of us hear voices a lot of the time. No, no, no. The, in the mirror. There's a voice in the mirror. Ah. Wait, wait. So you've got a mirror that reflects back your own voice? No, someone else's voice. <laughs> it's rough at the office. Vocalizing's got to help process the thoughts and feelings, huh? Or maybe it's your conscience trying to kick through the barrier. Oh. Hmm. Becoming a reaper ain't easy, so if you haven't fully internalized the struggle, you're not happy with your work, or you sense something's off. I'm happy in my work. What do I know? I'm just a barkeep, so that makes me only half a therapist. Nah, that makes you 75% therapist. So, give me a drink. Sure. What's your poison? Uh... <laughs> I'll take the Bloody Gary, ma'am. Can't go wrong with the Bloody Classic. It'll kickstart your recovery from any slump. Mm, I'm gonna drink it alone. It's just tomato juice. So, so am I gonna be Duckula now? Your tip jar is neat. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle though. Keeps multiplying. Take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. Go on, take one. Make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Mm. Nah, I think I'll be going now. Little Reaper. 
Um, let's do a fromage to you too. So, <laughs> this is part of the new update. Getting into actual legit visual novel territory here. Who's this fella? <laughs> Accentuate the morphological field. Oh, some reclassification of the framing stratum. Ah, I should have known. Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. Oh, maybe. Ah, meta resonance trigger. Hmm. Well, with hair as long as yours, and that kind of sort of bishy look in a visual novel, you seem very important. Prime curator of the abysmal archive, the archive of all existence. All existence, you say? All the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? A little too much. More than you are able to conceive. Yeah, sadly. But never mind all that. I shouldn't disturb you with ancient accounts. As you're talking to one of the archive, I suppose you have numerous questions. Worldly questions. Worldly, huh? I'm happy to oblige. What is it you wish to learn? How does the office function? Efficiently, as far as I can tell. Uh, can you give me a little bit more than that? Um, can I be called the number? I haven't counted for so long. Seems to me it gets bigger all the time, but not all can see all the flaws. Yes, floor visibility is restricted by necessity. Uh, uh, there's more. How many entities are there, all across the cosmos? I reckon there are as many as must be. Well, now we're getting into vague philosophy territory. Whatever, I don't care. Any other questions? Uh, what's going on in the archive? Much can be told. Alas, you're not of the correct conviction to learn it all. Okay, I'm done talking to you. Mm -hmm. Any other? I hope you enjoyed our talk. No, I didn't. To the archive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Uh. Wait, I, why can't I highlight you anymore? Well, who cares? Doesn't matter. Let's talk to you. Yes? Straight to the point. What's the matter with you? I do. <laughs> well, I guess I've got a lot on my mind. So what's going on? You know about the butterfly effect. Yeah, I've heard about it. I heard it was a crappy movie. Well, what if... Well, what if I'm that butterfly? That positively fluttering around and... And then millions of souls perish in anguish. <laughs> but wait a minute. What if I'm also that butterfly? I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that, that's the least of my problems. Last week someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. What? That sounds funny, actually. Well, not to me it isn't. Well, at least you didn't burn the office building down because someone took your stapler. It's outright mean, I tell you. And that's still not all of it. Last month I had to work in the dog department. What's wrong with that? But I love dogs. But wait, there's a dog department? There's a department for everything. Haven't you realized that yet? Why didn't we get the dog department update? And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. Uh, go back to the dog department. I want to learn more about the dogs. 
It sounds like someone's just picking on you. Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Lance Thrasher? <laughs> yes, and people keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. Uh, yeah, that sounds exhausting. Yes, right? I don't get it either. Oh, I just noticed this. That looks so cool. I like this hoodie. I like this guy. He's fun to chat with. So, I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight over to Lant and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. And then what? But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand on their desk. Sounds like a real winner there. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. He, this Lance Thrasher sounds like a... Very annoying. Very annoying. <sighs> How should I put this politely? Uh. Jock. Let's go with that. Lance, 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 Lance. What a tool. After this, they started making my life miserable. So intense. Put things in perspective. So, problem solver. What do you think? What should I do? Revenge. You're right. <laughs> I'm already ahead of you. <laughs> I've been working on this epic prank. Uh huh. Or it can cascade. I am going to completely wrap all of Lance Thrasher's belongings in tinfoil and tape. Uh huh. And when they go to the kitchen to get some scissors, bam! A cupboard full of tennis balls. Crush. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling inspired now. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I need to go and get this set up. I uh, don't know if that'll work, but, uh, okay. Seems like she has more to say. Except she didn't actually say anything there. Yeah. You know, never mind. Never mind. Wait. The <laughs> uh, Easter eggs. All right, I got that raise at the end of part one. Shiver me timber. Yeah, why not? There's a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since you wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. I don't want to hear it, there but I was all right. In some rickety office building downtown, and I saw this in an elevator. Went in, tore it out, and made a run for it. <laughs> the device has immense power. Oh. You turn the knob, and infinite pleasant noises come from it. So it's an so asthma machine. Call it music. <laughs> so it's a radio. Uh, I'll see what you have tomorrow. Anywho. Did I get some new stuff in this Halloweeny update? 
Not really. Oh, well, whatever. Time for bed. Shiver me timbers. Ye sure can't get enough of the Emporium. There's a calendar. Yeah, let's get this one. Blimey, we scoured now every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchant men for it. Cause turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals work on any year. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes, also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations and all the name days. <laughs> Including National I Sandwich Day? Finally procured from an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Eh, fine, I'll get it. Well, blow me down, lad. Tis the arcane fibbledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found its scale in a tower. Used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. All right. so hard they forgot about frivolous things like food or sleep <laughs> tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands that's true okay let's get to work oh the mirror has something to say yes you did it reaper you have achieved your grandeur grows with every passing moment Soon, we'll be but mere motes beside your blazing glory. <sighs> what now? Nothing. I wouldn't dare say a thing. Your Majesty. Huh? Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. All right, work for real. It's loading. <sighs> so after I got my raise, I was told, oh, I did such a good job, but the boss man implied that I was doing too well like making it seem like I was following instructions too literally just a second phone <sighs> like uh, like I need to be a little independent so to speak like don't be afraid to to Interpret directions, so to speak. So I guess, uh, that's what I'll be doing. It's always February here. No, it's November. It's VN November. Scientists discover a new strain of super tu tuberculosis. Ew, okay. Oh, this is, this is a banger. There we go. And your fidget spinner. Fidget spinner go whirr. Anyway, what are my instructions? I can't see him with all this this junk. Okay. Alright, uh... 
Six humans have to die. At least five humans with scientific background have to die. Well, I don't know about that. At least two humans age 30 or younger have to die. Humans are so easily corrupted. That is so true. Alright, I need to concentrate. Okay. What have we got here? Growing up, Abu showed great promise in being a talented artist. At one point, they shifted their efforts towards forgeries of different types, from paintings to money, at which they are also highly skilled. Huh, crazy red. So, how many humans? Six. Okay. So, boss man wants me to be an independent thinker, so I'm just gonna kill six humans. Regardless of whether they're scientists or not. Or their age. So let's go. I lurk in the night searching for bloodsuckers. Irvin has said to the authorities many times. They claim to be a vampire hunter safeguarding humanity against these terrors of the night. But are vampires truly out there? The answer might surprise you. It's nope. <laughs> What begun as constant stargazing as a child turned into a career in astronomy. Zara's main goal is to find asteroids that could potentially hit the planet and alert the asteroid destroyer unit in the military. Okay, we need to keep you. Yeah, don't ask me again. Yeah, you're cool. Dina has always loved numbers, and working as an accountant gives them plenty of opportunities to crunch numbers all day long. They know the tax law by heart and always make sure their, their clients pay all the taxes. Deity have mercy on the client who dares to ask for tax evasion advice. Okay, next. Hmm. Antonioni, Antonioni. Okay. Antonioni is known for making experimental games and genre bending art pieces. Lately, they've experimented with pain based control schemes, facial feature based difficulty levels, psychedelic imagery, and incredibly addicting game mechanics. They're one small nudge away from making it big. I wonder if this is a reference to someone. I'm not recognizing it, but this screams reference. Sitaro is a grad student at a microbiology lab where their research is focused on studying tuberculosis. Yeah, they edit the tubu bleh, tuberculosis genome to see how the changes affect the bacteria. Seitaro dreams of working in a facility that has proper ventilation, unlike their current lab. So we should probably keep you alive. You know, based on the new strain. But wait, I have to kill six, so... Crap. <laughs> Alright. Lulk and their team made the discovery of their career as they came upon ancient sealed to tombs in the local desert. The most intriguing item found from one of the tombs was an ancient wheel of cheese which still looked surprisingly appetizing. That cheese is cursed, y'all. <laughs> Albert is an, is an incredible human being. As in, never in all history has there been anyone who has destroyed so many humane and social systems with, with such nihilism and greed. They will stop at nothing in their quest to squeeze out any short-term profit. The position is corrupt CEO. I cannot check this fast enough, everybody. <laughs> I wish I could check it again. Because capitalism needs to die very, 
very painfully. Uh. Damn it! <sighs> you know what? Screw taxes. I gotta make money too. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I saw a piggy bank. Damn it, I want to see the piggy bank. All right, boss man. Give me my money. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. Sure. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Yeah, it was fine. Just so. Even we cannot stop the constant advance of time. Ugh, time. Oh, nature's greatest enemy. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. The papers. Please. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay. <laughs> Don't get too excited there. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well, what must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Eh, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, perhaps you should? Hey, you're the one that wanted me to act a bit rebellious this reminds me have you any questions it has been a while since we had a personal dialogue no i need to go until tomorrow grim you're the one that wanted me to think for myself so that's what i'm doing visual novel style to see ye again. All right, what have we got? Nothing that I can afford. So let us go to the office. Piggy Bank. Piggy Bank. One, move out of the way. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Panic arises as... What? I, but I, <laughs> oh crap. This is a little too on the nose for 2020 right now. Uh. <laughs> A little too quiet there. There we go. It's coming right for us. So I thought I thought sparing the tuberculosis doctor would help curve that that super virus. <sighs> T 
Two humans have to die. The humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundle must die. Oh, whoops, I shuffled them. Oh well. What have we got? Kathleen... Kathleen wrote the book on economic planning, literally. The last five years, they have argued for a new way to organize and system systematize labor and the production of resources, and for a different distribution of capital, which often revolves around renegotiating regulations and corporate oversight. Inspired by playing Space Intruder a lot as a kid, Tamao decided to join the Earth Defense Unit as an astronaut. A dangerous asteroid has been located for the first time after their training and they must now land on its surface and blow it up. <laughs> yeah. Hope Aerosmith is helping you. It has been said that Matthias yeah, Matthias talks too much. However, they themselves think they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. Wait, what? Matthias? Matthias. 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 Matthias had been following the escapades of Irvin... Ramiz for a while, getting ever more obsessed with the existence of vampires. What is it with vampires all of a sudden? They've been... What? Vampires. Not all vampires. They've been seen lurking in abandoned houses. Well, well I'll wait a second. With the Netflix Dracula... Dra would the Netflix Dracula be considered hot? No. No. So my point still stands. Not all vampires. Anyway, they've been seen lurking in abandoned houses, creepy manors, and dark alleys. Okay. We need to spare you so that we can have Aerosmith perform the ending theme. You can burn. Uh, you're too young, and you haven't done anything very sus right now, so I'll let you live and let a vampire kill you. Okay! Profit! Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. What's up? Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. <sighs> Can't be any worse than some of the other writers out there. Hmm. Cannot be worse than what? What do you have in mind? Oh. <laughs> But no, this is true. Humans just publish all sorts of junk. Ah, but I can certainly rise above mere junk. Can you now? I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. It, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, the cat likes it, so that's... I guess that's a good thing. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. Okay. Money, money, money. All right, pirate, what you got? Ye drive a hard bargain, mate. But Mortimer does love a good stuff. 
Ah, man. I, I want to get this one. All right, back to business. All right, let's see what hell I've unleashed on the planet now. Big asteroid successfully blown up. Oh yeah. Aerosmith is gonna go right here. But it'll probably be a bootleg or a MIDI of it, because if I actually tried to put Aerosmith, the video would be muted and taken down. No, I do not want to miss a thing. If you have something to say, you should come out here. <laughs> You're good, you're good. All humans in the bottom row have to die. So I can't kill these these four at the top. No matter what. Oh, well, let's see. Do I want to look at who has to die first? Or do I have to look at the one I have to spare? Let, we'll go with who I have to kill first. Okay. The ones at the bottom row. Ever since their museum got a hold of the world's oldest cheese, Old Vol hasn't been able to stop salivating over it. They keep wondering, if it truly is a forbidden snack, then why does it look so damn tasty? It's cheese! Of course it's gonna look tasty! But I thought we got rid of the people that found the cursed cheese. Renee teaches language and... Languages and literary, literary criticism to high schoolers, an arduous task, because you're in high school. But anyway, all things considered, they've, they've an interest in education science, with the aim to upgrade the teaching methods of other teachers, as many of the old-timers are not up to date with modern approaches. That is absolutely true! Yes, too many teachers are stuck with the old teaching methods, the teaching styles. I could go on and on about this, but I probably shouldn't. Adira retired just a few years ago after they felt they had saved enough money to live comfortably. Ahem, I read that wrong. Their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent outbreak of super... <sighs> I I did read that the new update had new profiles. So, I'm wondering if the sudden profiles and the tweets connected to super tuberculosis have anything to do with uh you know 2020 being the year that it is because holiday plans put on hold due to a horrible virus i mean that can't be coincidence. Okay, so the game expects me to kill these three. Including the teacher right here. Who am I supposed to spare? Ahem. <clears throat> Franklin considers themselves a hotshot pilot, having modeled their demeanor after an action movie they saw at a young age. Gee, I wonder which one that was. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle, and attempt reckless stunts in their aircraft. Ah, okay, so I know exactly what movie they're referencing. They're referencing Macross Plus! You thought I was gonna say Top Gun, didn't you? <sighs> Sayori manages a big software development project at Giamazon. 
Although they have zero idea how software development works, their uncle, the CEO, sees a bright future ahead of them. And you want me to keep you alive, game. A consulting contractor, as is often said in their resume, Temple is basically a coop master. Whenever a country needs cooping for whatever imperialist reasons, Temple is ready to be sent in to provide necessary support, intel, and logistics for any coops. They're always happy to work to the highest bidder. Military consultant, you are. Yeah, I call bullcrap on that. Ewald, a child prodigy, has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical profession in academia and in practice. Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risks. Alright, so everyone in the bottom row has to die. Yep, everyone whose profile is in the bottom row has to sadly perish. What a shame. Okay, I did it. I killed everyone that was in the bottom row. I'll spare you guys. Cool. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Well, humans are very vexing. Why do they exist? Why do they Their exist? Still seems unnecessary. Would it all not be simpler without them? Hmm. Well, not all of them. Not all of them need to go. A system of mutual dependence. Yet we have some hold on the steer. Yeah. Oh, never mind my ramblings. I acknowledge your patience and loyalty. Well, here's what I have to say about loyalty. Here's Grim. Such is the nature of loyalty. Mm, really? Whatever. Yeah. I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gotta give me my review. Oh, right. Slipped my mind. Well, if it is that important to you. It seems you marked the proper amount of profiles. Well done, and all that. Now depart. I have things to contemplate. Whatever. Give me my money. Yay, now I can get that doohickey. Gimme. The base, the marble plate of yours. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Hogwarts. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also <coughs> loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> All right, that told me nothing. Anyway, off to bed. Oh, I got a red one. Just a second.
Renowned neurosurgeon survives breaking most bone. What? Huh. Foolhardy pilot buzzes air traffic control tower gets fired immediately. <laughs> Well, at least one terrible virus is weakening. Curse of the Ancient Cheese claims its next victim. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are we seeing the start of an apocalypse or is it just climate change? It's climate change. Squeaky. Uh-huh. Well, this is a waste of money. Every other profile has to die. Well, I'm definitely opening that up to interpretation. What's this one? Grim, right? Listen, you, you need to keep your eyes open. Listen, think. Have you noticed what's going on? Do your choices make any sense? Does any of this make sense? Whoops. To see what they're hiding, you ought to mark this person for death today. Okay. Yeah, that did seem weird. It's, it seems like the quota... Uh, a little weird, a little suspicious. Different, so to speak. Anyway, Suida has had been planning to hit on a fancy museum for years, so naturally, it, oh no, it's the cheese. Damn it, it is the cheese! An exhibition of ancient treasure, blah, 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 blah. Wait, but upon seeing the world's oldest cheese, they felt a mighty need to steal it immediately. Yeah, go ahead. Take the cheese. Gordon got through medical college mostly by cheating. As such, they barely remember what they were taught. When people ask for consultations at the pharmacy, they usually say a lot of random but smart-sounding words. They also often sell the medicine randomly. Goodbye. Raking leaves is hard. Blowing them around with a leaf blower is much more fun. This is why Brian takes care of the leaves exclusively with a leaf blower, starting already at 6 in the morning. The toxic fumes the machine emits don't concern them one bit. Goodbye. Talia is the current president of Formosa, recently elected after years of working as a professor of the economic theory. They are known for being critical of exploitive structures and pushing for more wealth equality they have three kids and eight grandchildren now oh, you need to stay alive sumika whoops uh, dang it i want to see your face there sumika leads a highly trained anti-poaching team the number of poaching incidents was greatly reduced when Sumika got approved to use electric weapons and traps against the poachers? <laughs> Sumika lives right on the- oh, I have to keep you alive. <laughs> That's great. Bruno is an infamously gruff drilling expert who has been working on deep sea oil rigs for countless years. They have a tense relationship with their offspring, yet have been yet have lately been attempting to reconnect and make things work. Uh, keep you alive for the kid. Ira is very irate. <laughs> Ira, or we'll just say Ira, irate. They're also exceedingly corrupt and prone to violence. Instead of being a professional border guard, they harass any people passing through the border zone and often resort to stealing some of their stuff. 
sometimes in the guise of a bribe. Death. Death, 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 death. Cool. I think. Well, mirror. Hey there. What you up to, killer? Just trying to make sense of things. The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. Reaper. Yeah, get to the point. Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. <sighs> Mirror. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. I don't care. Uh, I am sorry. Am I taking up too much of your precious time? with my insignificant fancies. Actually, yes, you are. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious, one that will explain everything. Uh-huh. But what else is art? Grand and complex, intricate and vital. Indeed, you shall get the first copy once the vision is fully realized. Okay. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, tedium profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Is it? Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Will it now? I'm kind of afraid. Cord blimey! You're losing! All oh, beware. Wait, did I get all the widgets? I guess I did. The Grim Mail. Oh. Cool. Check this crazed old fart storm a wedding and punch the groom in the face. A old fart storm a wedding and punch the... Okay. <laughs> Cheese thief incriminates self by checking into hospital with massive cheesy diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy diarrhea. All right, Grim Mail. The last three humans coming from the facts have to die. What? I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted by the phone. Oh, well. So, just kill three people. Whatever. Nicholas was sent to Cosmopolis City from a rival country to learn national secrets. And nobody suspects them. Suspects them. Suspects. Suspects. Suspects them. Because they're a well-integrated sleeper agent. The success of their mission could prove catastrophic. 
They've built a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly attached to them. Kevin is very proud of growing the world's largest tomato, trademark. After this grand success, they're certain their giant beans, presently named Cool Beans, will alleviate local hunger. Their kid, however, thinks it's a very stupid name. Well, guess what? I'm going to let you live, just to spite the little bastard. Kidnapper. I'm kind of afraid to read this now. I'll save you for last. Blair considers their job as a doctor more of a, more a hobby. They enjoy traveling to various foreign lands and shooting short films. Given their regular travel agenda, they have three wives in three different <laughs> countries. Adult film director. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm not sure about this one. Charlie has been helping their brother Albert David hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider tr- uh, I don't need to read it anymore. There we go. Do not need to read any more of that. For years, Chippo has been interested in what effects different diets have on people. Lately, they have been working with the best of the best of national athletes, help, helping them improve their competitive performance. When younger Hakan was a driver of both ambulance... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just randomly thought of Cheesy Diary. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> <laughs> okay, got a game to finish. Now they drive a streetcar all across Cosmopolis City and have driven it for almost three decades. In their spare time, they watch a lot of television and solve all sorts of crosswords and puzzles. <laughs> Sounds wholesome, actually. I'll let you live. Okay, the kidnapper. What? <sighs> Okay, let's just get it over with. Jerry is a... <sighs> Damn it! Creepy kidnapper? Their latest plan is... Embiling near stadiums wearing cute... Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Where? Okay, I already killed the fraud CEO. Good. I'll let you live. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, why not? I'll let you live. And you die. Now the boring stuff. Grim, uh, why are you here? <sighs> oh, right. The daily Ugh. always in positions when I have important research to perform. Uh, well, fine, if you get on with it. You don't. We don't have to talk about it. You, you just give me the money, and I'll I go. The exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice. I imagine. Whatever, I'm right. done. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. The face of the great old one. I want the face of the old great one. The great old one. My Jones cover, the slimy appendage is still here. I shudder at that very memory. Did not know which way was up, which way was down. Where to step forward? A wall. 
They were everywhere. I grabbed what I could and ran. Ran as fast as me feet could go. As I emerged from the darkness, I found myself standing in the middle of a carnival. Truly a nightmare. Truly. Whatever. Does that mean I can be a great old one too? I can! Love it. We got five profiles. Yes. <laughs> Food shortage slightly alleviated by giant beans. Many governments cancel meetings due to excessive passing of gas. <laughs> Fun. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Okay. Whatever. When younger, Omar postponed reading literature thinking, Oh, I'll get around to it once I'm old. When the time finally came, they started going through novels, novellas, short story collections, etc. One after the other. Now they regret the earlier decision, as they're afraid they'll die before they get to read all these books. Fernandino loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. They're an avid supporter of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils. In their free time, Fernandino likes bird watching, pirate films, and selling bootleg Azure 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 Dis that's clever I like that. They also have a modestly popular film review blog. Ryoka participated in the local cooking contest 25 years ago and came in second in a tight race, losing due to slightly inadequate chocolate tempering technique. What should have been an uplifting experience turned into an unhealthy obsession with Tempering chocolate. An avid electronics enthusiast, Serena has counted, continued working as an electrician well into their retirement. Although their grandkids keep telling them to retire, especially due to bad eyesight, their love for the job will always win. Michael runs an influencer account <laughs> wherein it looks like Looks as if their cat is doing book reviews. Lately, they have been thinking about getting another cat. Perhaps one that reviews articles. Michael is quite happy with not having a significant other at the moment. You know what? I'm gonna spare all of you. I am feeling generous today. You will all live! For I am the Great Old One. Hey, cute kitty. Has Grim arrived yet? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, whatever. Oh, my dear Lady Paddington. Why is it such a bother? Indeed, the worries I have to face every single day. Truly, it wearies me. And now to summon such a... Everything would be better without the endless hassle. <sighs> I'm right here, bastard. Oh, Grim. I am most disappointed. 
I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you realize the implications for the world and for yourself. Yeah, well, up yours. Hello, Grim. You are silent. You have nothing to say. Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. No, I'm doing exactly what you told me to do in your review. This will be marked out as your second warning. There will not be many more. Good night, Grim. We are all walking on a tightrope, prone to falling at any moment. See that you do not. And I still get money for it. Good for me. Doubloons will get you anything, mate. Oh, I did not get all of the widgets. I gotta get the cactus next. What, what? <laughs> okay. Five humans have to die. Four humans must be spared. This is of utter, utmost importance. Oh, one human has to be spared. P.S. Do be careful to let the right person live. Alright, let's see what we got here. Samuel is an editor with a tragic past. One they've always kept to themselves. Every day it gnaws at them, causing intense sorrow that can never be alleviated. To numb it all, they have become addicted to painkillers, which often cause them to hallucinate mythological things. Okay. Choo choo! All aboard the best train ever, whichever train Ashley is conducting. They constantly broadcast uplift, uplifting messages and jokes, brightening the passengers' days. There's no reason why you should die. Gossi is on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They've got the idea while looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Whatever. Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider, consensus has not reached when has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around. Goodbye. No more cursed artifacts. Nuija is secretly researching the genetical combining of plants and animals, in addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears. They also dream of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of spines. So far the research has been costly, but they believe it's for a greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. Bye. Dudley aims to make the world a better place by collecting tear. After collecting a set amount, those bottles can be exchanged for money, and new alcohol can be brought from the proceeds, which creates more bottles to take care of. Yeah, goodbye. You too.
What? Mirror? Now what do you have to say? What people? The same people who often feel sad, angry, scared, when nothing is happening. What's that got to do with parades? You know, actually, I'm going to say this. I suppose so. Even if you can't see the corners of the circle, it still occurred. You may have found the path through the maze, Grand Reaper. Be glad. Have I? Have I truly? <laughs> Cat, what are you doing? Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem worthwhile. <sighs> You're starting to get on my nerves right now, Mr. Boss Man. Yes, you expect your daily summary. But I still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. Oh, really? Well, maybe I can't burden myself to do what you want me to do. To kill who you want me to kill. So, off you go. Oh, 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 that, that's how it is? That's how it is? Oh, no money! Oh, you bitch. You bitch. You have no idea what you have unleashed now. How did you get in between? Huh. Oh, no! <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna read this. I'm not gonna read the instructions. Doom the one named Ron. What? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Doom the one named Ron. Okay. All Martin wants to do in life is to be creative. But harsh reality has forced them against their will into a situation they have no control of. Until they return from military service, that is. Iswari found religion after hitting rock bottom. After selling a family clock radio for a tiny fix, they got mugged in the alleyway, but found help in a nearby church. After living through withdrawal, their life felt filled with an otherworldly warmth, so they devoted themselves to helping others in a situation similar to what theirs had been. Luigi is a revolutionary, a radical, an avant-garde hero of the people, the ultimate underdog, vanguard of char change, beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds! Which, considering the forklift is not very fast, okay, I gotta keep you. Keep you alive. Uh, I guess I'll kill you. And half and half, don't, I'm not reading the instructions. And whatever happens, I'll just say it was an accident. Grim? Oh, you're back. I am. Well, that's nice. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Uh-huh. Right. 
I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone oh. will be up to their task. <laughs> well, lucky me. Oh, whatever. So why are you grumpy? Why am I livid? Yeah, why are you grumpy? Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to remind me that taking sudden leave is detrimental to our aspirations. Because they thought to admonish me for taking a couple of days to perform important research. Ah, boo freaking who. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes, now, how was it? Nothing in life is more certain than... Death in Texas? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do my job. Hmm, I can't imagine what that feels like. I... Oh, <laughs> owned. It is rather irritating, is it not? Ah, uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Yeah, you better. So that was incredibly lucky. <laughs> Didn't even read the instructions and I still got it right. Yo ho ho! What can old Mortimer provide you with? I think I earned myself this cactus. Face your eyes upon this spiky vault. Ye wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of cacti. Just to get me phalanges on one of these. Finally unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It did not start there, however. So. Tis a traveling cactus. Ye never see it move. But boy does it get around. <laughs> Oh, was this open yesterday? I think I missed it. Damn it. Oh, well. Gotta focus on the game right now. And I have to... I have to kill someone whose name begins with Ron. Oh, I got a lot of profiles now. Do your job. Oh, how motivational. Oh, ooh, yikes. Well, I guess I'll read the profile this time. Go with the flow. So, like what I did yesterday. Okay. Doom. All right. Didn't even read Ronald's profile, but I just had to kill him. Anyway, Ile completed the grueling scout sniper training, but they're constantly either afraid for taking for their life or thinking about the probable infi infidelity of their spouse. They have not yet fired a rifle in a situation outside of practice. Wait a Their faces almost look the same. <laughs> Chloe is constantly training to conquer... Oh, wait a minute. I haven't checked out the cactus. Wait a minute. Snow globe here got more red. Can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, whoops. Uh, Chloe is constantly training to conquer the rock worm peak by free climbing the full height of it for charity. Their practice regimen was hindered by having their leg, oh, broken in three places. An entry they they obtained by jumping down in celebration from an indoor climbing wall. <laughs> oh, whoops. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the 
bringing of justice, but because of the politi political power and po the position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little too much, so we gotta balance that power out. Seamus lost their parents at age three and was raised by an odd foster family at an isolated village. These days, they are on a mission to find a legendary Skull of Death, an artifact that supposedly gives one the power to live forever. I mean, that's pretty doubtful if you have anything to say about it. I do have something to say about it. That's what I say about it. When still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society and the world in general, up until the point that they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their innate interest on so social... social... What is that? Man, the E and the T are very close together. Social issues to gain greater knowledge of history and the myriad structures that affect our lives. Xanthope is an aging senator, holding on to power because they can't imagine they could do anything else with their life. It's the only thing they have left. Unfortunately, they're also growing in increasingly misinformed and illiterate in a way the modern world works, both politically and technologically. That's what I gotta say about that. Aaron is a small-time criminal selling low-grade narcotics to those who just want to party. Lately, they've started experimenting with different chemical compounds to figure out if they could conduct any new interesting blunt blend, 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 blend. blends. S blend. Wow, what a mustache! Once during a routine burglary, Holland got attacked by a kid who was unintentionally left behind by their vacationing family. This occurrence made them ap appreciate the quiet days far more. Usually, they leave a clean house behind, sometimes even doing the dishes. This went all over the place. Huh. Okay, so I've killed four. Eh, you've already suffered. I'll let you live. Uh, I guess you're okay. You grew up, so I'll let you live. Oh, I got two more. Nah. I don't have any reason to kill you. And I can't kill you either. I can't bring myself to do it. Okay. Go with the flow. And kill someone named Ron. Mirror. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? They are actually. You've been clicking around for quite a while. I have actually. Perhaps a short break is in order? Time to gather your wits? Stretch a bit? The world won't explode if you step away for a second. Probably. You're talking to me? No, no. It's you who died and found your way here. Oh. To the office. Where you belong. Well, that was bizarre. Anyway. Grim, welcome. You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. Do tell of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. So, whatever. I don't care. For a daily performance review instead of a thoughtful discussion? No. Go right ahead. I will not be holding you back. Uh, 
I got exactly what I wanted. And I did it all by going with the flow. If I ever return to the seas, I'd have ye on me crew anytime. Well, that sounds fun. Better than what I'm doing right now. All right. A powerful remedy for migraines? Okay. So, cool. <laughs> so there's only two. One human has to die. But which one? Let's get all this junk out of the way. Okay, so one of them has to die. Oscar joined the armed forces to help soldiers in and outside combat situations by providing moral, sometimes even psychological support. Most of their time is spent at the military hospital, providing aid for injured soldiers. They recently adopted a puppy from a combat zone. Saskia has a penchant for studying in general. They're not really trying to get anywhere or achieve anything specific at the moment. They're just learning all that comes within their field of view. This approach may at least get them on the college challenge quiz team. Okay. Die. Live. That was easy. Easy and quick, too. But what? I do not really know. And I don't care. Normal. Yes. It does seem rather normal. Oh, bother. I must be getting tired. Mayhaps we should turn to our regular matters. Or we could just skip it. Yeah. Does it really matter? I cannot tell anymore. Good for you. I am not sure what I am supposed to do. Right now. So, uh, I guess that is it. Good night. Well, you can give me my money. Thank you. How many times have we met? Pumpkin! I lost all count. A cursed gourd. Gimme. Upon a gothic like castle during me travels once. Seemed like good loot at first, but nay, a monster hunted them corridors. Head large and round, eyes shining like two lamps aflame. Twas paralyzing. Never have I been so frightened of anything in me life. Turns out, it was the Baron who got the curse of the wear pumpkin. Only happens during full moons, though. And even then, only one month a year. So tis not much of a curse. Would you say they become the Great Pumpkin? And it looked like it was a piece of clothing. Oh, there's a mirror. Do you hear that joyful murmur of life? Uh. Apparently, your deeds have been deemed good. Heck yeah, I'm the best. That's what we like to see. Brilliance left in our wake. You've even thwarted an ill-fated ambition or two. I have? I know. You crave for conflict instead? Let them be in their sorrow. Feel at ease and let the smooth tide take you away. Uh, wait, what? That's our line. That's my line now.
<laughs> Any questions? I'm pumpkin head. Oh, wait, nothing? Oh, but I got a red one right there. Choose however you want. Boss man doesn't give a crap anymore. <laughs> huh. Ah, I think you somehow avoided the worst. You didn't fall into their trap, but remember, the game isn't over yet. Yeah, it looks like I got four full days left. Fate can't be trusted. He needs to be removed, replaced. Spare this one. You've come this far, now follow it to the end. Yeah, fate doesn't care. So neither will I. For nearly 50 years, Hector produced and hosted a series of fun and educational television shows that revolved around being nice to people and making the world a better place. They won numerous awards and honors for their many good deeds. Why do I get the feeling that if I let you live, something bad will pop up on the phone the next day? I am curious, but also very sus suspicious. Jake, a self-prescribed chemist, loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen. Jake's latest work involves mixing opioids, opioids and uppers. They also enjoy showcasing their new inventions at the local club scene. Although Brady is concerned with making their boss as happy as possible, they're growing increasingly worried about the nature of their job. Their boss keeps asking them to do ever dodgier things, which, while raising profits, do so at the expense of other living beings. Gee, that sounds familiar. No one knows much about Harrison. Their history and identity are both mysteries. Most often, they are seen moving around in a wheelchair, barely speaking a word to anyone. Although it is known they once helped a lost detective. Mysterious capitalist. I don't trust you. Hmm. Yeah, I'll let you live. Is that everyone? Alright, alright. Hey. Fate, I'm a pumpkin. Uh, same as it ever was. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. Neither do you. Whatever. Give me my money. Oh! Excuse you! This bitch! Alright, Mirror, I'm with you. Fate has got to go. Fate... Has got to get the F out of there. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, so nothing bad actually happened with that children's producer. Two humans have to die. P. 
P.S. I forgot what I wanted to write. Fate? What happened to you? During the day, Andres is a small-time business person, but secretly they're a naive and press impressionistic painter. Their graffiti is found on many walls, drawn at night under the protection of anonymity. Anonymity. Andres suspects their art has mystical powers, so they try to do good by adding positive karma to nice houses. But it's unclear if they're fully in control of these powers. Wait, how many have to die? Two. Rio has been aggressively advocating for a new radical policy which completely eliminates all taxes. Any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what do taxes ever do for us anyway? Die. Salome started imitating famous artists as a hobby. That's all I need to read. <laughs> That is all I needed to read, my friends. Forgery is not cool. That's no good. I don't care. Just you give me my money or else. Just give me my money. You better give me my money. Thank you. I'm still going to see that you get fired. Ooh, last two days. What will happen? <laughs> what will happen? This drummer knows how to rock! Grim, the time draws near. Tomorrow will be your ultimate choice. Right now, your last chance to turn away. Do you trust me? Are you in? Are you? Mark this profile for death as the final test. Display your determination. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, drummer. But if this means if this means sabotaging fate, I have to sacrifice you. The calculations show that two... That's a bit wordy. You usually just go, Oh, two humans have to die. Three humans have to die. Not the calculations have to show... <laughs> Fate, what has gotten into you? But you know what? I don't care. We are going to get rid of you, I guess. But that's fine by me. You've underpaid me long enough. Satya is just making some extra money providing teaching services in a couple of wealthy private households. They're saving up for a lengthy worldwide trip, during which they plan to visit as many countries as possible. Satya is an avid fan of kite flying. A singer-songwriter who, after years of hard work, still doesn't seem to catch a break. Their original material just doesn't grab people, which is why they became an impersonator of the famous singer... Cathal Kassep, also known as The Count. Their career seems to be on an upswing. Not anymore, it's not. Now I'm not going to let you talk. Any of what? <laughs> You're lucky I'm not suing you.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheesy diarrhea. <laughs> I don't know why that randomly... Oh! Everything's different now. This really is the end. Anything in the pirate store? Kitty ears. Sure, why not? Okay, we gonna end this one way or another. There is one pro. F oh my god! What? The mirror. Uh. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think about it for a second. Okay, I thought about it. I just needed some cheerful music before I do this. <laughs> That's what you get for underpaying me, you asshole. Oh, I forgot about the kitty ears. Oh, cool. <laughs> My true form. <laughs> you know, that is a very comfy chair. <laughs> I am L. I told deserve this. Oh, yes. Yeah, but I got rid of fate. Spineless? Nah, it was revenge. I am true death. Nya. Is that it? Oh. Okay, so... I have United Nations. I have exploited the world, apparently. Well, no. The humans exploited the world. Humanity has transcended... 
What else did I do? As I gaze upon my usurped domain. Oh, you made wonderful music. Though I can't let you die. Wait, this is the credits! Loves cats. Yep. You're cool. Let them live. Let them all live. No sense of humor. Uh, okay, goodbye. Sorry. Yeah, pop them good. Oh, the artist. Ah, the voice of fate. Fate must die. Ah, oh, the pirate guy. You must live. Ah, oh, she was the one that helped me become the new fate. I'll let you live. And technically Tim, who doesn't have any lines. Okay, whatever. I feel bad. I've been reading the profiles, but I'm not reading these profiles out loud. Hmm. <laughs> I do like the pictures that they made for the the staff. They're pretty pretty cool. <laughs> ah, a voice actor in the military vet military vet really wow. Oh, we're done. Ah, well. Back to the menu. Oh. Gallery. I've achieved peace. I have created a utopian society. Huh. <laughs> huh. So only 42% of players have gotten the ending that I got. Less than half have gotten three of the four endings that I've got. Wow, okay. I'm fine with this. I am absolutely fine with this. Do I want to continue to try and unlock all of it? What is this one? Huh. No, I'm perfectly content with this. That was fun. That was entertaining. <laughs> I fought the law and I won. 
All right, everybody. Until next time, this has been Nitro, one who is very oblivious to all the references except the Flophouse podcast. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.